Yes, good morning students. Welcome back. Second topic, module 1, Circular Flow of Income, part 1. In this part 1, we are going to discuss two sector economy with saving and without saving and investment. Basically, what is circular flow? The circular flow of income is explained by considering simple economy in which there are only two sectors, households and firms. Households are the owners of the factors of production. There are four factors of production, land, labor, capital and enterprise. They supply the services of these factors to those who make the use of these services to produce goods and services. So households are the owners of the factors of production. They are consumption unit. Firms are production units. This is the second factor. Firms are the production unit. Firms are producing units who decide what, where, how and for whom to produce goods and services. And of course, firms are using the services of factors of production supplied by households. Now, uh, I'll explain you what is the meaning of closed economy. Closed economy is the economy where there is no import, no export. Now, this is the base, this is the introduction for this circular flow in closed economy. The entire explanation of circular flow of uh, income in a closed economy depends upon various assumptions. Assumptions you can give only in one line. There are six assumptions. Number one, the economy consists of two sectors that is households and firms. Second, production takes place only by firm. Third, households spend their entire income. There is no saving. Fourth, firms supply goods and services. Fifth, there are no government operations in the economy. And sixth, there is no international relation. That means the economy is closed. By now it must be clear to you that there are two sectors in the economy. Now I will explain it with the help of diagram. In the diagram, the left side rectangle represents households who are the owners of the factors of production. Then the right side rectangle represents firms which are factor users and producers of goods and services. Factor services, factor services that is land, labor, capital and enterprise flow from households to business firms and factor income from firms to household. Now this factor income is in the form of, look at there here, factor income is in the form of wages, rent, interest and profit. What labor gets that is wages, what land gets that is rent, what capital gets that is interest and what enterprise gets that is profit. So factor services flow from households to firms and factor income flows from firms to households. Okay, the diagram indicate two types of flow that is real flow and money flow. This real flow and money flow are, see this is real flow and money flow occur in the opposite direction. When we combine the flow of factors and goods market, we get the circular flow. Look at here, from here it is going like this and like this. Factor services supplied by households to the firms. Factor services. Which are the factor services? Factor services in the form of la la land, labor, capital and enterprise. 
factor services supplied by the household to the firm get converted into goods and services these are the goods and services these firms are giving goods and services for to households similarly the money income received by household money income in the form of wages rent interest and profit in the form of wages rent interest and profit is spent by the household in purchasing goods and services in purchasing goods and services thereby money return to the firm money return to the firm and it completes the circular flow this is from here this inner line is called as a real flow and the outer line is called as the money flow so in this way from here it is moving like this and from here it is moving like this so this is the circular flow of income where it gets over but this is where there are no savings household are not saving any money and business firms are also not saving anything this is about circular flow without saving now moving on to the next point that is circular income flow with saving and investment look at the diagram when we say there is a saving and there is an investment there uh, it is included in this diagram saving is a leakage in the circular flow and gets it injected in the circular flow in the form of investment saving by household it is coming to financial market and it is going to as an investment to the business firm savings and investment flows between households and firm takes place through financial markets which financial market which consists of commercial banks stock market and non banking financial institutions in a simple economy the value of output produced is equal to value of output sold which is equal to the sum of consumption expenditure and investment spending so we can write y is equal to c plus i here y is a national income c is a consumption expenditure i is a investment ex expenditure investment spending so the income received by the households in the form of wages in the form of wages rent interest and profit is allocated to consumption and saving accordingly we can write y is equal to c plus s here again y stands for national income c stands for consumption and s stands for savings this is about the circular flow with saving and investment students this is the base of the next two points next two points are circular flow with three sector economy and four sector economy so this question can be asked explain the circular flow of income in two sector economy uh, if the uh, if it is not mentioned with savings on investment even then you have to give both the diagrams diagram number 1 and diagram number 2 thank you